Hi everybody, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks, where I share with you all kinds of mixed media painting techniques, studio tips, inspirational exercises, and other crazy things we might encounter in the studio. So this week, I want to share with you some of my favorite techniques from my fifth book called Acrylic Painting for Encaustic Effects. And what I'm doing is I'm creating this feeling that looks like wax, but it's done with acrylic. And here's an example of a piece of veiling. So if you look in here, you can see many layers. Parts of these were done with transfers. And up in here, there's just all these different layers. And I'm going to show you how to do this one with white paint and basically an alcohol resist. And then I can come back over here and even use a bit of a glaze if I want it to look a little more yellow like wax. So I'm going to start with this piece. And it's got a lot of texture on it up in here. You can see I have all of these panels that I'm always doing different demos on top of. And so I'm not afraid to put more layers on them. I encourage you to have a few panels like that that you can just continue to layer things on top of. And I'm going to put the white paint down here. And I've mixed up just a titanium white. And I want it to be um, just the right kind of viscosity. And look at that, I'm already getting kind of a resist from who knows what I had on there before. And if your paint is really wet, you might get that kind of a reaction. I'm going to add a little thicker paint up into here. And while the paint is wet, I'm just going to come back in here with the spray bottle and just do a quick mist. And depending on how I squeeze this bottle, I can get big drips or I can get a fine mist. When you look at this area in here and you see that the paint is moving away quickly, that means that it was a bit wet. But I like the effect. So the difference is in this area and in this area. Just depends on the the size of the drop of the alcohol and the viscosity of the paint. Just a really fun way to just veil things back, creating just a little bit of another layer with white paint. Let me show you another one with white paint. Now this panel, I had a lot of different things on it, and you can see this effect here where I've gotten this very soft edge a veiling with white paint on top of a dark surface. So I've come back in here, I've painted this area black with a little bit of gold in it, and I'm going to show you that veiling with plastic wrap. And then in here, after that veiling was dry, I came back in with some paint glazes. So let's just try some different viscosities of paint. So I just added some water to my paint. This particular panel is an um, encaustic board. It's made by Ampersand. And it's a great mixed media panel. And it really can absorb paint and give you enough surface to move the paint around. It's probably my favorite painting surface. And I'm just using up the rest of my paint here. See how beautiful you can get these lines just playing with your brush in here? And I'm going to take a piece of plastic wrap while this is still wet. There we go. All right. Let's hope it's still wet enough. So now I'm just going to take the plastic wrap and put it onto the surface, creating these lines in the paint. Rather than pressing everything down, I want to create like little bubbles under there to where those lines are going to show up. And we've done this in the past, and if you recall from that, if you want a soft edge, you pull it off immediately, and that's what we got down here. But if you want a 
more crisp edge, you leave it on a little longer. So I'm going to peel it up here and we'll take a peek. And we've got a very nice surface here. And when you're using this high contrast, this black and white, it really shows up nicely. And now I know I have three bands going on here, but when this dries, I'm going to have a very interesting background to continue working on top of this. I could even begin to bring a little bit of the black paint down in here, or I can just stamp some of this onto here. I like to always just use up my leftover paint. And now let me show you the glazing over this bottom part. This was done using quinacridone gold. I think I had a little red on my brush too. And I'll show you exactly how much paint you need. It's just a tiny, tiny dab. And I'm only going over the, the area that's dry. So one drop of paint over this surface and I get this very different effect. I could even come back in with a little alcohol on top of this, even getting an effect in this paint because it's still slightly wet. And I love what it's doing right in here. And this is going to be those little tricks that are good. It's going to make your painting unique because you're layering these things rather than just, you know, one, one trick and you're going to start to understand how these layers can work together and really enhance your painting. So I have one more thing I want to share with you today and it's one of my favorite ones. You know, you, you hear me say that a lot. I've got a lot of favorite things. This is the book, Acrylic Painting for Encaustic Effects, that you can find a lot of these techniques, 45 wax-free techniques. And you can find all of my books on the website. This is a piece that I've created using a lot of textures and it's got some veiling in it and I'm going to show you on this particular piece and I'm going to show you with both a heavy gel mat and a light molding paste to really start to push some areas back like I did in here. So I just use a knife with the light molding paste. And I'm just going to evaluate where I want to put some in and just start to drag it. This is that embossing technique that we did with the paint. And I can even take this corrugated cardboard and just come back in here and press it in and I get this very interesting pattern. Now over here, I'm just clean off my knife. I'm going to take some of that heavy gel mat. And the mat is going to diffuse it. It's going to not be glossy. This is white when it's wet but it's going to dry clear or translucent actually. The difference between the paste and the gel, the paste is going to stay white when it's dry and this is going to dry clear. It's going to have a little opacity to it, but it's not going to be white like this. And on this one, I'm just going to take my cardboard, press that way. And when these dry, you'll see the difference. So I'm going to probably play with this some more and finish it up. And I'll take a photograph of it when it's dry and show you what it looks like. So that's it for this week on veiling. I call it from like wash to wax. So it depends on how thick you put your paint layer. That would be like a wash. So even a very, very thin, pale layer of white and these paste and gels that are thick, that's going to be more like wax. So thanks for joining me and 
as always, I'd like to hear your comments, any things that you would like to explore or like for me to address, questions you may have. And please go to the website, check out all the online classes. The Awakening Your Creative Soul courses are going to be available for registration. So sign up for the newsletter and get all the information there. Thanks. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.